May the force be with you. <gasps> <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Storm here. <laughs> Mom here. Kimmy here. We're going to be watching more Star Wars Rebels today. We are on episode seven of season three. We were not looking at the thumbnail or title because we want to be pleasantly surprised. But what happened last time, guys? Ooh. Oh, the tactical joy. That's tactical right. Joy. With Rex. Last battle. Flashbacks. Yes. Yeah, flashbacks right. and reminiscing, yeah. not really reminiscing, but PTSD yeah. kind of stuff. That's for sure. Yeah, because uh, we really did enjoy the Clone Wars, so it was kind of fun to relive that. Um, I don't mean that, like, we don't want all the death and all that, um, but just seeing Rex, like, how he was in his prime. You know, awesome. he's an excellent soldier. He still is, mm -hmm. but how he was bred for this, and he even lost his cool because he you know, really wanted, you know, to fight in a way to take out these yeah. droids. And, um, you know, so anyways, I'm glad Ezra really had his eyes open and yes, really saw it. Yes, got to yeah. see it. And and Kanan tried to explain to him, like he was the buffer. He was trying to explain to him what's going on. That's for sure. Yeah, and that's true too. Yeah, he was yeah. really good at communicating yes. that back and forth. So it's like, oh, well, what does this maneuver mean? And, oh, this is what you have to do. And um, But Ezra really saw that, yeah, like you guys were never meant to win. And then the Empire took over. Um, so we had Rex and the droids. They were all able to work together. They the did, end, thanks to Ezra. Yeah, yeah I good. mean, the odds were very slim, too, mm -hmm. Tactical Droid said. Yeah. So, you know, that was good that they were right. yeah, there. So you always okay. had those very like, uh, small odds, you know. It's like <laughs> we were going to die pretty much. Like, there's no chance of survival. And, you know, robots, humans, very different, and obviously. Sure. And, yeah. um, and that's why it makes it so different. So, thank goodness, those very small odds worked in their favor. Yeah, it was kind of fun yeah. seeing those battle droids. Yeah, that was Roger, <laughs> Roger, 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 Roger. Who, who's Roger? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so we used to laugh a lot about them, anyways, because they were kind of annoying for a while. But then they kind of grew on you, yeah. and it's like, oh boy, gosh, and just how gosh, obvious gosh, they are. Funny. Like, oh no, hey, what are you doing? Why are you pointing that gun at me? Like, so obvious <laughs> and literal about everything. But yeah, yeah so that and was they, have they, they have a new fan. And they have a new fan, so that's huge. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they gain a little bit back. I mean, they've um, suffered a lot and lost yeah. a lot of people, but that's great that they got one, another big thing, which they needed that's a phantom, sure. you yes. know. So shall we get into this episode? We shall. Yeah. 307. Maybe I'm lulling you into a false sense of security. These stabbing cubes. There's nothing <laughs> false about it. Blade to cube phase two. I win. I want the same thing we've always wanted. For you and your protectors to join us. To fight the Empire. That's good. I made a deal with the Empire to survive. I admire your persistence, Sabine Ren. You could have been a protector. Error wants you in the war room for a briefing. Both of you. <laughs> <laughs> we've lost communications. If you've lost communication, something's happened. I'll go check it out. I should go with you. Isn't he our prisoner? More like a cranky guest. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get the whole Mandalorian thing. Ezra, watch him! <gasps> watch him! Whoa, Whoa, right away! Whoa. Come on, he was just looking that for was an too opportunity. Easy. Wow, so. <laughs> Wake up, Thanks. Oh, I don't know, but he's got our weapons. What happened? Everyone's destroyed. Is it all burnt? He doesn't care, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow, everything. Oh, boy. Did they escape? Other Mandalorians. Hmm. Huh. If I'd been here instead of locked away by you and your rebels, I could have prevented this. We didn't mean for this How to happen. You know, you know that. Yeah. The protectors are loyal oh. to the throne, and they're they watching the best warriors. Ah, oh, mm -hmm. darn it. Hate those things. Oh, <laughs> boy, yeah. Okay. It's pretty big, too. Wow. Yeah. We have to go. I have the location of your rebel base as a bargaining chip. Oh, it's oh, no yeah. less than you deserve after causing all this. Then we're gonna kill you. I can't let you do that. The Empire? Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Oh, Great. Oh. 
Oh crap. Oh, 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 stop! I give up! Don't shoot! Come. I know a place where we'll be safe and where we can watch them. Search the area. I doubt he's alone. I'm here by myself. Oh. He doesn't really count. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Check the base. He's no sign of anyone else. The Empire is fully aware rebels have been using the system as a through way to avoid patrols in this sector. I just came here looking to salvage some spare parts. Until then, perhaps target practice with your droid will encourage you. No, no, oh, come no. On. no. Oh. Poor Chopper. Oh, wow. Ezra can take care of himself, but the Phantom has our base coordinates. Do you think I actually care about him or your rebels? No, walk away from this guy and go with Ezra. Everything that's happened here is because of you rebels. You may not like it, but right now we need each other. Help me get my ship, get Ezra, and then we'll all get out of here together. <gasps> oh! Do I stormtroopers? My name is Lando Calrissian. I'm a smuggler. <laughs> <laughs> Name's too famous. I believe you've run out of lies. Set frequency to 337. Oh, boy. Come on, oh. Is that so? You know, I plan to strike this base and destroy these defiant protectors for some time. Missing Fenra was disappointing, but now I have you. And I think you know exactly where Rao is. He's strong. At least Rao's oh, You down. will take me to him. I'd be dead alongside my men, executed by the Empire. Mm -hmm. The truth, thank you is in order. For now. Easy one. Drink. <laughs> <laughs> Wanting one of these. Yeah. Sweet. Oh, Upgrade. Don't put it upside down. Yeah. <laughs> quick, quick, quick. Here's you. Don't. Oh, no. Come on, no. no. Oh, nice. Oh, Missed. bad pal. Oh. Get back. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Up here. <laughs> Rao should already be in the ship. We hope. Oh, oh really? Come on. Yeah. Oh, come on. Maybe he'll turn around. <laughs> yeah. Sabine Wren. I don't know you. Her own mother stands with me and the Empire now. I doubt you gave her much choice, traitor. Oh. The Empire will make Mandalore stronger than ever before. The only one who's gotten stronger under the Empire is you. I yield. Sabine, don't. We have no choice. She's got a trick up her sleeve. Top her now! <laughs> nice! Oh, Hang on! <laughs> oh, wow. Future. Well, maybe she's thinking about it. Can't believe you just leave them. That's awkward. So what's your strategy for this? She also has double the weight on her, you know? Right. Yes. <gasps> oh boy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Too low. God. Whoa. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> little cowboy. Yeah. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Where's the beef? Right around the corner. <laughs> yeah. It's good having her hands free, too. Right yeah. Yes. Force it over. Come on. Tell it to come over. Oh. Oh. God. Thank <laughs> oh, God. Wow. <laughs> what do you know? Yeah. Go. I'm right behind. I hope so. Oh, I hope so. <gasps> no, nope. Not. Oh, darn. Sabine! Yeah! Oh, wait. Push him over. Let's take a stormtrooper again! Oh, 
hopefully it won't go wrong. It's gonna get one good shot in. Something. It's gonna be right oh to the God, end. No. Crap. Crap. Darn it. Grab her, grab her. Whoa. Oh, that was close, oh, huh? God, yeah. yeah. Let's see if your Empire friends come can get them. Then I realized you were willing to die for your people. Mandalorians are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> crazy enough to join you. <laughs> good. Yeah, that's good. Seems sincere. Yes. Oh wow. Man. I'm sad that he took Wait. off though. Yeah. Well, he thought about it. Uh, I knew we were gonna have struggles with him. Yeah. It was kind of frustrating, but it makes sense because he was stubborn and in his way, and he was like that before too. Mm -hmm. And that is the Mandalorian way too. Like they have a different perspective, and he was honored. He like he was true to that. Like he yes, honored right. he what he believed that, in. Yeah, and she, he thought that she, you know, abandoned them. Yeah. That's right, so. Sorry. Like, nothing's ever black and white. There's a lot of gray yeah. areas there. And, yeah, she was willing. She wanted to protect her own. Ezra's not just a pawn. He's a friend. That's right, yeah. And we're not just going to leave him, sacrifice him, you know, if there's hope to save him. I know there's risk no matter what you do, but Rao really saw that over time. So that was good so, that he came so back. Glad. Yeah, me too. Absolutely. So when he said he was going to take the ship, the Phantom... I had a brief moment of like he's totally gonna escape, and I was like, well, maybe not. I don't. I think maybe he will stay after I thought that, and then nope, he left anyways, and that really frustrated me. <laughs> yeah, same with me. I didn't think he was gonna do that. I yeah, thought he was just so gonna either. hold it down and wait for them to come back. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he fought every moment. You know, he argued with Sabine. They were even playing a game in the beginning. You know, and yeah, he was still right strong now. with his belief, saying that you betrayed your people, yes, yes, yes. and you know he didn't believe in her way at all and you know so it makes sense that he would go that far anyways so to see him come full circle and respect Sabine's choices that's right. um, that like good. that's huge so he did have to go through all of that to you know it would be too easy if he just said oh okay yeah that's I can see right. your ways because it's not the Mandalorian way they're very strong mm -hmm. as a people right, you know yeah. and Ezra mm -hmm. I think he had his guard down a lot in this episode yeah, me too. Oh, you know, yeah. he He's really insane. let his guard down. Mm -hmm. Especially, insane, like, yeah. leaving him right off the bat in Phoenix 2. Just, you know, hoo -hoo, whistling and then coming up to talk to her. Like, he's going to stay there. He's going to take every opportunity he can to get out of there. Yeah, I mean, that happened so quick, too. And mm -hmm. it shows that, you know, our characters, they're not perfect. And, yeah. you know, Ezra is really proving himself to be a leader, but there's still a lot he has to learn. Yeah, sure. And even though we were, I think, more focused on Sabine in this episode, and she really, I mean, I want to say stepped up. She was already strong in that way anyways. Mm -hmm. Like, she could be a leader. But I feel like we were more focused on her and seeing more... Um, faults with Ezra again being human and all that mm -hmm. it makes sense um that he has to learn he's not gonna be oh, perfect sure. at being a leader right away but yeah I saw that too and Sabine really you know she had good ideas and she even responded to Ezra immediately and she's right. like you shouldn't turn your back on him you shouldn't let That's your eyes right, off him or whatever and immediately when she said that he was already on them and knocked That's him right. out so it shows you that you know I think they work really well together as a team but Ezra still has a lot to learn as well. He does. Yeah. And good thing she got the jet the jet back too. Yeah, that was kind of neat. <laughs> yeah, she was so excited. She took off and She'll took fix Ezra that baby. <laughs> yeah, that was so funny. And honestly, <laughs> like she'll make it pretty. I thought that was a great battle scene yeah, to yeah. see that because it was different and actually seeing Sabine with the jetpack, you know, and just maneuvering with yeah, it. Right, and yeah, it was yeah. clumsy because when she took off with Ezra, that was smart. And it was funny, too, because it was like, hello, whoa, you know. <laughs> and then it was sloppy because he's just, like, holding on. And they were kind of learning as they went on, you know. Like, yeah. then he landed on Chopper, which was even better because <laughs> Chopper couldn't really do anything in that mode anyways. And he's just <laughs> yeah. flying. So Ezra being on him like a platform and being able to use his skills and then Sabine yeah. being free with her hands, she could use her skills too to really fight back. Yeah. And she took mm -hmm. out um, a Mandalorian, no problem at that point. Uh -huh. So it was a really cool battle. And it, it was it like sure neck was. and neck all the time, even yeah. to the last moment. It was. It's was sure very was. exciting. Yeah. And I think, I think Ezra put his guard down because it's something that um, Kanan said. He said, Rao is a, is a crabby visitor, a crabby mm -hmm. guest. He's not really a prisoner. So I think that's why he let his guard down because, oh, like yeah. he didn't, you know, if he said prisoner and, you know, keep your eye on him or something, I think he would have been more attentive. That's oh, a good yeah, point, too. Yeah, because, yeah. you know, he was probably trying to 
make it sound better to Rao as well, to be like, not make it sound so negative to maybe win him over. Yes. But yeah, so like Ezra, I can see that as well. Them. Oh, well, he's not much. I mean, I don't know if you felt like, you know, that he was less of a threat, but probably because he walked away and didn't pay yeah, attention right. to him. <laughs> yes. So it does make sense there. Yeah. And I kind of laughed to myself because that was a few episodes ago, right, that they got Rao. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. He's a little person on the yeah. ship. And we're like, yeah, yeah, he's just hanging out. A lot of other stuff <laughs> happened in between and we were quite sure, busy. Yeah. So, um, yeah, But that's important. I mean, it's sad with what happened to the other protectors. I mean, Mandalorian against Mandalorian. Like, there's a lot of complications there. And we even saw that in the Clone Wars on I'm Mandalore. Sure, yeah. People Definitely. have different views and they're loyal to a certain belief. And um, But I want to know more about Sabine's mother. Um, yes. Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah, like I'm very curious about that. And, you know, Rao losing his people, that's really sad. And that's what we keep seeing with these different parties that side with the Empire. They don't give a crap about you. And eventually, you don't. And you know, he realize your usefulness and sure. they'll kill you. That's oh, right. That's and right. you have to realize that, you know, you don't have to be against the rebels. There's slowly groups are fi finding out that they're not against you. You know, these outside groups like Rao's group, Rao just said, you know, no, the Empire wouldn't do this. This is another clan. But that clan works for the Empire. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, he was devastated. And once he found that out and it wasn't Sabine's fault, then he, you know, he finally embraced it. And, and I'm so glad he joined. Yeah, me too. That was really And good. he seemed really sincere at the mm -hmm. end, too. Like, you can just see it on his face, which was really nice. Because yeah. he was so guarded before, and this time he was, like, content. Yes. yes. You know, you can see a different side of him. And I love the That's animation cool. for that, too, to really be able to see the subtleties of emotion sure. just with their face, you know, facial expression. So, very good. Yeah, and good. I like Ezra and Sabine working well together. They, um, I guess, you know, they can learn a lot from each other, especially Ezra with Sabine, you know, because mm -hmm. Sabine has her moments, too, and she can get stubborn. But at least um, when it comes to being focused and stuff, she, I think, has that down more That's than right. Ezra does. So, although Ezra's a really good Jedi, don't get me wrong, like he can, when he puts his mind to it, haha, he could be really good at being a Jedi. And I love how they always keep Chopper in high regards as a family member, you know, like they're really worried about him. Yeah, especially when Saxon was threatening to zap him. And... Yeah, and Ezra risked his own life to expose that he was a Jedi, you know, to save Chopper's life. Yeah. So that was awesome. And Chopper just slapping him. That was really oh funny. It's just so God. mean. Hey, it wakes me up, though. Hey, get hey, you gentle. Sure you know, like, wake him up and then he's laughing. Chopper's again. like, no, this is my opportunity to be gosh. funny. I'm just going to do it. Mm -hmm. So maybe we'll see Rao now and again. I think that's going to oh, be maybe. cool. Mm -hmm. Probably will, yeah. Getting some small gains here and there. And they're important gains, though. So very Absolutely. good. Absolutely. Yeah. So until next time, guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you want to yeah. check out the next episode early, you can check out our Patreon in the links below. If you're watching on our Patreon, you really keep us going financially to keep creating. So thank love you guys. You. Give the video a thumbs up. Really helps the thumbs algorithm up. on YouTube so more people can see us. And we'll see you very soon as always. May the Bye. force be with you. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Subscribe. Be subscribed.